Well, this morning we're taking a close look at the Salvation Army's Angel Tree program. Now, this is a program that makes sure kids who otherwise wouldn't get a gift are able to open presents on Christmas. Time News reporter Morgan Wrigley is live in Fort Smith with more on the program and how you can get involved. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, guys. Well, we've been here all morning with Captain Stephanie Hargis of the Salvation Army talking about the Angel Tree Program. So we were looking at some of these angels and how it works. Can you explain what we're looking at right here? Yeah, so all morning we've been talking about how in September families had signed up for Angel Tree, and now we're in the process of receiving all of those angels back. And so we wanted to look um, a little bit here at Santiago, um, who this is a few things from uh, what he's been given. Um, and so he had asked for things that he needed, like a jacket, and his wish was monster trucks and so here they found a um, a coloring book there's some monster trucks here and a jacket and socks and these are some of the things that you find whenever you start receiving the gifts gifts back um, from people that are purchasing gifts for the kids on the angel tree yeah so a child will wake up on Christmas morning and these will be some of the things that he'll get so I think it's really cool that they can put something they need and something they want. So you get like the socks and the jacket, but you also get the monster trucks, which is really cool. I absolutely love that um, the community is so generous. Like they don't um, ask anything from us. They take the tag and they entrust us to be able to give these to the children. And um, I really like that there's a lot of different ways that the um, donors in the community can see and have a list of things to as a guide to go by. Yes. Well, we talked about this has been going on for a while, but what do you guys? What are you guys in need of as far as volunteers and helping with this program at this point? Uh, right now, where we're at is definitely needing um, groups of about 15 to 20 that want to come to our warehouse and um, begin to process these gifts as they come in. Um, but another thing, uh, we do have um, there's hundreds of these tags all around the community, um, but unfortunately, not all of them are returned. Um, so even though we get them all adopted as far as taken off of the trees, not all of them are returned back to us with gifts. So um, toy drives, people bringing toys for us, um, or monetary donations to buy toys. Um, the Salvation Army doesn't, uh, we don't budget that um, yearly. So uh, the community does such a wonderful job. Um, last year, I think we only had about 30 that were not returned. So this community is very generous with um, helping us make sure that Christmas is bright for so many. Yes, and it really is helping so many people in our community. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today about this and that's all from us from the